I've also been following, just to get all of the entertainment-related stuff out of the way, this Michael Jackson story, now that Dr. Conrad Murray, his personal doctor, who was making $150,000 a month to, tr to, quote, treat Michael Jackson, is now on trial. And the more I read about this, the more questions I have. At first, I thought this guy's really in trouble because the arguments being made are that uh, Dr. Conrad Murray gave Michael Jackson a, a dangerous combination of medications which caused his, his heart to stop. This includes giving propofol, this powerful anesthetic which is typically only used in a hospital setting to put people out for surgery. Michael Jackson using it for sleep in his house doesn't make much sense. Also evidence coming out, reports coming out that Conrad Murray, after 911 was called, What's the story, Natan? He apparently asked for some items to be put into a bag and kind of just hidden away. Yeah, he asked uh, Michael Jackson's security guard, this guy Alvarez, uh, to put some things in a, in a plastic bag. <laughs> and the guy apparently thought it was just, you know, stuff that they were then going to bring to the hospital. And it turned out that it was stuff that was actually being hidden from investigators. Yeah, it includes, like, propofol vials and some other <laughs> paraphernalia. See, that's shady. If you're hiding... If you're hiding vials of what the guy had in his stomach when he died, that's that's probably not a good sign. Yeah, I mean, when you tell me this guy's making 150000 a month, I'm assuming he's making 150000 a month to get Michael Jackson whatever drugs or illegal stuff he needs without question. I think that that's, that's exactly the case. Now, the, 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 the next level of weirdness with the propofol is that, yes, the propofol was found in Michael Jackson's stomach. However, I actually think this is the best defense of Conrad Murray, which is that propofol is not taken orally. It's an intravenous medication. The fact that Michael Jackson had it in his stomach actually does suggest Conrad Murray turned his back and Michael Jackson stupidly drank it, thinking it would have the same effect as getting it intravenously to help him sleep or for whatever reason. That actually, to me, helps defend Dr. Conrad Murray. Yeah, that sounds like it could be a legitimate uh, legitimate defense. And then also there's, a, there's evidence that at one point Dr. Conrad Murray was doing uh, chest compressions on Michael Jackson and apparently asked if anyone knows CPR, which is a strange thing for a cardiologist who is doing chest compressions to ask, but at the same time, maybe it only means that he needed somebody else to take that over so he could go do something else. I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure he probably knows CPR. <laughs> yeah, apparently. I hope so. He was doing it. I mean, this is what I am wondering. If it turns out that Michael Jackson didn't die because of Dr. Murray's direct action, so he died because, you know, well, the other guy went to the bathroom he drank his milk, as he calls it. <laughs> right. That's the other thing. <laughs> the he propofol. referred to the propofol as his milk. Of course, because it has like a milky white uh, color, right? Right. So uh, if Conrad Murray was doing some malpractice but didn't directly lead to Michael Jackson's death. Negligence. Can, can he still be tried for some other lesser crime? Couldn't it be criminally negligent homicide still if he, if he lined up a situation as a doctor that allowed Michael Jackson to do this? You're saying if he left the milk out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happens when you leave milk out? It spoils, and spoiled yeah, milk I'm, is I'm not I'm sure good. they could still hit him with, uh, with something like that, negligence or you know, in reckless endangerment or something. I think the broader message here is that for $150,000, as we know, if you have very little money, you have very little access to care. If you have a ton of money, you can basically be your own doctor and, and get whatever it mm -hmm. is that you want. You can hire a doctor to get you... Uh, milk. <laughs> your milk, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. We'll come back. We'll talk about a bunch of other stuff, including, including the Occupy Wall Street protests that are going on. Tomorrow, I will be in D.C. 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern on Free Speech TV Live. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.